Hi guys and girls on YouTube, welcome to my channel. Well, we've got Christmas out of the way now, so uh, I'm taking a few days off work. I'm not going back till the new year. Uh, we can concentrate on a few more projects at home in the loft. So, if you remember my last project, um, this TV game I built out of um, Practical Electronics, June 77. Um, well, going through the comments, I had a comment from Richard on the UK FM CB radio servicing um, channel and um, he said that a TV game like this also appeared in Practical Wireless in the 1970s so, um, so I've actually looked that out and I've got the magazine here out of my collection and it was um, a tally tennis game uh, it was dated July 1974 now unfortunately this runs on a great load of TTL chips and um, multi vibrators so we're not going to be making this as a project just at the moment because it's far too complicated and it take me absolutely ages to build this. But I've been looking through this magazine and uh, this is when Practical Wireless was all about radio. Uh, now over the years I've built uh, one or two radios and they've not always worked. Um, but I've been looking through here and I've come across a very interesting um, little project. So let's just uh, turn over to the right page. And here it is. It's the Julian Anderson Take 20 series. Uh, number 61, a personal TRF receiver. Now it says here, unlike many simple radio receivers, this one will operate first time. So there's no point making something for a video and then uh, you switch it on it doesn't work. But I'm assured here, this is going to work first time so let's give this a go at building this so the first thing I've done here is so we don't damage the original magazine or I don't get soldering flux or spill anything on it um, I've actually photocopied the article um, and then we're going to uh, build it from this and I can make notes and things at the bottom um, so that's the first step so we don't damage this magazine just make a quick photocopy of it right well I managed to find all the bits I need in my uh, new old stock um, the only thing I haven't got is original BC 108 transistors in the metal case uh, so what I'm going to be using is these ZTX 107s um, they have the same pin out but I think these are manufactured by Ferranti. Um, but I'm I'm pretty sure that'll do. So there's all the bits. That's the blank board. Because um, it seems to be in the magazine uh, that you just do it on blank perforated board. Uh, so that's what we're going to be using. So right, let's get assembling. Uh, soldering iron under there somewhere turn that on here we go then Right, so that's it, all finished. All we've got to do now is uh, connect it to an amplifier, um, a little audio amplifier, and we'll power it up and see how it, uh, if it works. Oh, there's one thing I forgot, actually. We need a ferrite rod in the air reel. So, yeah, all finished. Let's power it up now and see what happens. Oh, nearly forgot actually. We need a knob. Uh, 
Right, so there we go. I found a little amplifier I made quite a few years ago just for uh, testing something. It's only based on a, uh, what is it, a TBA820 amp. So I've got that connected to the radio. Um, I've also added uh, a little bit of decoupling here, resistor and capacitor to isolate that from the amplifier because we're running it from the same 9 volt supply. Um, now I don't know if these transistors I've used aren't suitable, they don't have enough gain, but I cannot get this circuit to work without shorting out R3, uh, which provides the base bias for that transistor. Right, so let's give it a whirl. It's connected up. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the camera up and hold it near to the speaker because uh, sensitivity is very poor, so there's not that much volume. So, what I'll, well, in fact, I could probably hold that near the speaker at the same time. Right, here we go. all right guys and girls on youtube many thanks for watching my video and uh, i'll hopefully catch you in the new year with some more videos all right goodbye